Hey guys, welcome back. We're doing some legs and cardio today. Um, so you're gonna get some strength components, definitely, and also some cardio interval components, definitely. Um, if you already did the core workout, we're kind of following a similar template. This will be our template for the week in terms of these strength and hit workouts. Um, so let's get started. We're gonna do a quick warm up. Okay, kind of a little mobility warm up. Um, I would be just away from your mat for this. And we're gonna just take some lunges forward and back. Okay, let's get those arms up and then return back to feet together. Okay, so I am bending into both knees. I'm leading with my hips a little bit, trying to create some length and stretch out the front of that back leg. Let's get a couple more. Next one, I want you to hold it forward. Okay, so we're gonna hold it right here. Now get long in that back leg. Let's take this right hand down, bring it inside. So it's right hand down, left foot is forward. Let's take a twist, okay? Try to keep this knee pointing forward for now, okay? Keep pulling it forward. You're gonna feel that stretching out through your glutes. All right, carefully unwind. Step it back together and we're gonna step forward. Let's take that right foot forward. Find your lunge, lengthen it out now. Long leg right here, left leg's long. Take your left hand, bring it down inside of your right, keep your right knee facing forward, and take a twist right here. Just rotate towards me so both legs are out wide, okay? And point your toes forward, take a stretch forward here, wide fold, stretching out the groin and also our hamstrings. Turn your toes out a little bit so heels are slightly pointed in, toes are slightly pointed out. Bend into your knees, press your butt back, hands come to your hips, roll it up to standing. Come in a little bit if you need to, that's a little wide. And we're gonna take it down to one side. I want you to lightly pulse it here, okay? Think about sinking down, sending your hips back. Let's get three, two, one. Take it to the other side, sink it down. Stretching out that inner thigh, getting the legs warmed up. Okay, let's get three, two, and one. Okay guys, come on up. The first thing we're starting with, we are gonna dive right into it. Um, we've got our intervals to begin. We're doing an in and out hop. Your goal is to stay low. So I'm never coming back up here for this one. We're doing 30 seconds. 15 seconds of rest, 20 seconds, 10 seconds of rest, 10 seconds, and then we'll move on to our strength exercises, okay? So your in out is gonna be here, okay? Think low, stay low, okay? It's gonna be quick in and out. If you don't want that impact, I want you to take it one leg at a time and just take that jump out, okay? Guys, get ready. We're going for 30 in, three, two, one, go, right here, okay? So first goal is to stay low, okay? You're, if you're jumping, you're gonna get that heart rate up, okay? Stay low, quick or slow. If you're not jumping, definitely try to go a little bit faster, okay? You're gonna have to push it to get that heart rate up, okay? We've got about five seconds, guys. Whew. Three, two, and one, We've got 15 seconds break, okay? I didn't mention in the beginning, I probably should have, don't worry about it right now. Um, weights will be optional today. If you've got bands, those will also be optional. More on that later in three, two, one, let's go. We've got 20 seconds right here. Remember, we're low. Out and in, out and in. Come on, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, whoo, quick, quick, excuse me, quick breath, because we're going again in three, two, one. It's our last time right here. Let's push it for 10, push, 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 five, three, two, and one. Okay, listen up. Here's where we're headed for 
our first strength exercise. And now this is where you really don't need it, but if you happen to have any of these giant rubber bands, um, you could use these to get extra glute engagement from where we're headed. Now, if you are interested in these, check Amazon. It's about the only thing fitness related still on Amazon right now. Um, I'm not sure why, because they're pretty great. You can do a few things with them. You're certainly not going to replace the gym with them, but when it comes to getting a glute workout, they come in handy. We're gonna do some clamshells. With or without that band, you're gonna feel it both ways. Okay, so elevated clamshells. We're gonna be on our elbows. We're lining up our elbow, our hip, and our knees. So my knees are not out here, they're here. I'm gonna elevate this so I lift to a side plank and now I'm adding in my clamshell. If that's too much, you're staying down here, heels still stay together and you're just trying to rotate to open. You're trying to keep those hips one on top of the other. This is gonna get into those glutes and hips like crazy. Okay, let's get it up. We're taking five nice and controlled on each side. Bring it up one, two, my shoulders right over my elbow, three, four, and five. I'm just gonna have you flip around. Let's set it up on the other side, right here. Get lined up, elbow under the shoulder, good alignment, and heels together. Test it out, okay? All right, here we go. Five, and four, three, two, and one. And I just wanna mention, um, Again, you really don't need these bands. I'm using um, almost the lightest one that I have for that exercise, okay? Just side note, um, don't need a whole lot of assistance. The next exercise we're doing, if you want weight, you could use it here. If you've got a band on, just leave it, okay? We're gonna take our knees under our hips. We're doing a kneeling squat, okay? If you're taking weight, I would rest it on your shoulders or if you have one, just hold it right in front of you, okay? My knees are directly under my hips, my toes are untucked. I'm gonna sit back towards my heels, and then I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna press my hips forward, glute engagement on purpose, and then I'm gonna sit back, okay? If you don't like these, you can stand up and do a regular squat. I know this is a deep bend on the knees, um, and it's also a lot of pressure on the knees. If it's just the pressure, Fold over your mat, get a little extra cushion under the knees. That will help a lot. All right, guys, let's get going. And lift up, engage on purpose. We've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna quickly set our weights down and get set up again for that side plank, okay? So we want that band, if you have it, just above your knees, not on the knees whatsoever, okay? Let's line it up right here, heels together. Remember, you can stay hips down or you can try it elevated, get up away from the floor. Let's go, we're bringing it out down nice and controlled. We've got five of them. There's two, three, four, and five. Quick switch. Whoop. There goes my mat. Okay, line it up here, here. Lift, heels together. Let's go. Bring it out for five, four, three, Stay tall here, two, and one. So what I mean is I don't want you slumping, getting crunchy in that neck and shoulder. Keep space, stay lifted, okay? Um, let's get ready for a squat again, okay? So my knees are right under my hips. My weights are gonna go here, okay? And I'm really sitting my butt back. I'm keeping my spine long. Then I get that squeeze at the top, okay? And sit it back. 
Come up, squeeze. Here we've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Let's get our side plank to clamshell one more time each side. Okay. Come on, down, elbows under the shoulders. We got the knees bent, we're in a nice long line here. Heels together, lift up, and let's go. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Turn it around, all the way over. You can just roll over, you don't have to do what I'm doing. I just like facing you. Okay, we're up. And let's go. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's get our squats last time. Okay, and we'll be done with the stand. Ugh, that's one way to do it. Watch your face. There we go. Okay, and right here. Okay, let's sit it back. Come up. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Okay, guys, so we're going to come up and we're back to our hit. I'm going to give myself a little more space here. Okay, so we've got same template, 30 seconds, 20, and 10. We'll have breaks in between. We're moving through some scissor squat hops, okay? Basically what you need to know is you're gonna switch your feet every hop, okay? If you're keeping this low impact, what I want you to do is I want you to take a lunge back and then a squat out, okay? You'll reset. You'll take a lunge back, take a squat out, reset. That's your low impact version, okay? Guys, get ready. We're going in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. So remember, you're switching in the air if you're taking that impact, but I want you to make sure that you focus on what's going on when you're in contact with the floor, okay? So you are getting a squat. You are getting a lunge, okay? Guys, we've got 10 seconds. Keep pushing. Break coming up in five. And rest. Whew. That one will do it. Okay. So our next round is going to be 20 seconds. Guys, get ready. In five, four, three, Two, let's go. Don't just jump, get that, sink down, get that strength component. Five seconds. And rest. Whew. It's only 10 seconds, followed by 10 seconds. We're right back to some strength, all right? In three, two, one, let's get it. Five seconds, three, two, and one. Woo. All right, so we are going to, that kind of warmed us up for the lunges and squats that we're gonna be doing, okay? So I'm gonna recommend that you do try to add some weight here, okay? Um, we're doing split squats, which essentially um, are lunges on one side, and then we'll do the other side. So we're not gonna alternate. We'll have one foot forward, take your other foot, long step it back, okay? You need room here so that both knees can bend about 90 degrees, 
My front knee does not cross over my front toe. I'm gonna stand up and then I'm gonna go straight back down, okay? We're gonna do five. We'll turn our round and go directly to the other side for five, okay? Let's get it, ready. And bring it down, press up five, four, three, two, one. Turn it around, okay? And make sure you're set up well. Bring it down. We've got five, four, it's not my goal to come to the floor, three, two, and one. Turn towards me, okay? Kind of like our warm-up, a little narrower. We're going heels turned in, toes turned out. Let's get weight on the shoulders. We're gonna do a plie squat to a toe raise down and up, okay? We're taking 10 of those. Plie squat, we'll do a little calf raise down there, and then we stand. Ready? Yes, ma'am, yeah? All right, let's go. Bring it down, lift, all the way up, one. Down, lift, two. Down, lift, three. Squeeze in, down, lift, inner thigh, four. Down, lift, five. Down, lift, six. Down, lift, seven. Down, lift, eight. Down, lift, nine. Down, lift, and 10. All right, guys, let's set them up again, okay? Let's get one foot forward. I wanna mention, you're, you're not on a balance beam here, okay? You have length in your step, but you also have a little bit of width in your step, okay? I'm over-exaggerating right there, but my feet stay about hip distance apart, and then I have length also, okay? Let's get weight where you want it, and take it down. Down, we've got five, four, three, two, keep your front knee tracking forward, and one, okay? Switch it around, that knee is gonna have a tendency usually to buckle in. Try to keep it pointing straight forward. Here we go. And bring it down, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's get set up for our plie. That's a wide stance, toes turned out, heels turned in. We'll sit down, calf raise, stand up, engage your inner thighs here, okay? Let's go, bring it down, up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whew, nine, and 10. Okay guys, we're gonna take it our last round here. Okay, so we're going back to those split squats, or those isolated lunges, one more time. Let's get one foot forward, one foot back, weight wherever you want it, and let's take it down with control. Down, press up five, four, track that knee forward, three, two, one, switch your legs. Good setup here, and let's go. Bring it down, five, four, three, two, and one. We're going wide stance, toes out, ready to plie, and sink it down, calf raise, stand up, one, two, inner thigh engagement, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whew, and 10. 
good. Ooh, I was feeling those guys. All right. So we're moving on. We've got one final block. This is the three segment class coming into number three right now. We're starting with our hit. So what I want you to do, we're going to take some low speed skaters. These challenge me. Um, I like to give myself a visual just to keep myself pushing the whole time. So I'm going to use my weights for this. You could use like the edges of your mat, but where we're headed, okay, we're going to be, make sure I've got this right. We're going to be coming across. There it is. I'm going to tap. That's my low. We've done these before where we're way up here. I want you to come across, tap it down, come across, tap it down. Okay. 30 seconds, 20 seconds, 10 seconds. We've got our third strength segment. We'll stretch it out, get you out of here. Okay. Get ready in three, two, one. Let's go. Woo. So I want you to try to keep a long spine on this one. So I'm going to kind of keep my gaze a little bit forward. Once you find your rhythm, see if you can pick up your pace. We got about 10 more seconds to go. Woo. Five. And rest. Okay. Woo. Take a breath. It is only a 15 second rest. We go again for 20 seconds. Okay, getting ready in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Bring it across and low. 20 seconds here. 10 seconds, but we're also only going again for 10 seconds in three, two, one, go for it. Whew, push it here. Three, two, and time. Whew. Guys, make sure you're getting some water. Um, you're going to want your mat for this next one. Okay, weights are going to be optional. Um, of course, they will give you a little more challenge, um, but I don't know how much that's needed. You decide. Okay, so we're going to be doing um, some surrenders here to get started. The one thing I don't want you to do is push off of your leg with your hands. So here's what I mean. Okay. We're going to go in one direction. So I just want you to think in your head, left, right, left, right, left, right, and so on and so forth. Okay. So I'm going to come up using only my legs, not pressing off right there. Okay. Um, you really don't need a whole lot of added weight most likely, but you're certainly welcome to hold some here or hold one right here. Okay. I think I'm going to do one for this. We'll do five in one direction, and then we'll switch over after our fifth one, and we'll go the other way, okay? Let's get ready with that weight, and bring it all the way up, all the way down for five, all the way up, all the way down, four. We're landing lightly on that knee, okay? So your goal is light impact there. Virtually no impact. It's just a gentle landing. Last one. We're going to switch it here. Okay, so we're changing directions. Right, left, right, left. Let's go. Bring it up, right, left. There's five. All the way up. All the way down. Four. All the way up. Three. Up. Whew. And two. Oh, up. And one. I missed my mat on that one. Okay, guys, in between, we're going to do a reverse plank. I want to show this to you from the side. Okay, the mat is really up to you. Um, it's not going to help you a whole lot with this one, but we're going to be in a reverse plank. 
So my hands are behind me. I prefer fingers forward. You can go there if you prefer that. Um, it's straight legs, okay? Hands really should be under your shoulders for this. I'm gonna grip my feet into the floor. So here's where we're headed. We're gonna lift up, neutralize your neck. We're gonna lift, lift. We're doing 10. So you're really working your leg that is on the floor more than your lifting leg. You're working your glutes and your hamstrings to keep you lifted, okay? So let's set it up. Lift up to your reverse plank. And let's go, nice control for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, keep those hips up, 3, 2, and 1. Whew. All right, guys, so you know exactly what we have left. We're going back to it, starting in our surrender. Let's get that weight ready here. And Bring it up, left, right, all the way up, all the way down for five. Up and down, four, up, three, up, two, one more. And up, we're gonna tap down, switch in the other direction, right, left, let's go. Up, right, left, one, two, three, whew, four, whew, and five. Okay, let's get ready for that reverse plank again, okay? So we're taking hands under our shoulders, okay? Right here, get ready. My feet are about hip distance apart, just so you know they're not all the way together. And let's go, lift up, hips high, and lift, we've got 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, keep those hips up, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, guys, last round, and I promise you, we're stretching it out. Okay, let's go. Weight right here, left, right. Bring it all the way up, all the way down for five. Four, three, two, and one. We're gonna switch directions, tap it, right, left, bring it up, five, four, three, woo, two, last one, okay. We're getting that plank last time, and now we're stretching, okay? Whew. Let's get hands under the shoulders, okay? And lift up, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, hips up, five, four, three, two, one, carefully lower down, straight legs, reach up, and take a fold forward. Let's stretch out over our legs. Your hands can be right here, guys. Think about finding that stretch up the back side of your legs, also in that lower back. Relax your neck. Carefully roll it up. We're going to take a little twist here. This one will get into our glutes a bit to be nice. We definitely worked those more than you might realize today. Um, let's keep that right leg long. Take your left foot, cross it over your right knee. Set your left hand behind you. Reach the right arm up and twist to look over your shoulder. If that's too much, take your hand here. Pull your knee across a little bit and twist as much as you're able to.
All right, let's take it the other way. Straighten that leg out. We're taking our right leg across now, right foot over, right arm behind, reach up through the left side, and turn to look over your right shoulder. All right, let's take it to our side real quick here. So you get to lay down, all right? Um, preferably on your mat, but wherever you land. Okay, don't strain your neck. You can be here, you can be here. Um, we're stretching this top leg. Take your heel, give it a pull in towards your glute and just hold it. We're stretching out our hip flexor and our quad. Okay, front of the thigh, just hold it. Set it down, do a spin move, flip over. Okay, we're going to the other side. Make sure your neck is comfortable. Top leg, pull your heel right up towards your glute and just hold it right there. All right, turn onto your back. Let's hug both knees into the chest. Give them a little hug. Gently rock from side to side. Should feel nice. All right, guys, get up any way you want to. And that's it, you're done. Great job. Hope you had a good workout. I'll see you next time. Bye.